What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're going to go through the next module in Good Lock and that is Nice Shot. If you want to watch the rest of my videos, they're linked in the description down below. I'm going to record every single one of these and walk you guys through each one of them. So today's is all about Nice Shot. If you want to download Good Lock, go to the Galaxy App Store on your Samsung Galaxy phone, search for Good Lock and you should be good at that time. So Nice Shot, if we take a closer look at it, says that it use the screenshot and screen recording features more conveniently. So we go in there and let's check out some stuff. So the first thing you can do is you can turn on disable crop snapping, disable crop snapping when editing. So what that means is if I take a screenshot and I go into the edit mode, you can see like when I do it, it'll like, well, this isn't probably a great option, but basically it kind of snaps to it. I can get rid of that. I don't have to, you know, really use that if I don't want to. So let me discard that. I'm going to turn this on. And what I'll do is I'll take a screenshot of something else. So you'll see what I mean. So that crop that the, basically the, the snapping won't just like snap to the, the image at all. So I got my image right here. I'm going to take a screenshot. I'm going to go into edit and when I go down here, usually it would snap right to the photo, but it didn't. It kind of just went, it's kind of not doing it. So if you hate that feature where it like snaps to the, to the thing, then you can turn that off just where I showed you a moment ago. Just hit disable uh, crop snapping. I actually like that feature, so I'm going to turn that off. Next would be you can add a delete button. You can add a delete button to the toolbar so that you can delete the incorrectly captured screenshot immediately. So, so when I took a screenshot earlier, you can see it doesn't show a delete button there. So if you want, I can add one. I'm gonna turn that on, I'm gonna take my screenshot and it now has a delete button, which is very handy. So I'm gonna actually keep that one on. I think that's very, very nice to have. The next ones are all about the screen recorder. So you have do not disturb during screen recording. So I was getting some notifications there uh, just a moment ago. So I can turn that off and you can see allow do not disturb permission to use do not disturb tap settings, then allow the do not disturb permission for Samsung capture so I'm going to settings and it brings me right to it which is nice I can just turn that on hit allow for Samsung capture I'm going to hit my I'm going to go back into the app I was just in all right I am back into the app now I haven't started recording so that's why you still saw the screenshot of these notifications but I'm going to turn it back on it's on now but before we do that I'm going to go into selfie video options and when you come in here, you can turn like your video on when you're doing your screen records. So I'm going to make, you can make the uh, background color transparent. You can auto detect background color. You can do color detection sensitivity, and you can also double the video size. So let's do that. I'm going to start video recording. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go into screen record and I will do start recording. I'm going to skip the countdown. Now I can't see myself. So I'm going to hit this picture right here. This shows me. And I'm going to just do a screen recording. I'm going to hold it up so maybe it will black out some of that stuff for you. And it's trying to make it transparent. It doesn't do a great job. It does better when, let me see if I can, it doesn't do a great job at it. But um, ultimately, you could theoretically make your, your, your colors transparent. I'll turn that off. It's still doing it because it's still in the mode. But you can see it's definitely bigger than it was before. Let me hit stop on that. Let me go back into screen record. I'm going to start it again turn myself on and you can see that the, the the background transparent stuff is gone if i double the size this gets smaller so you can see how big it is now i'm going to turn it off and there you go you can see it's a lot smaller so this is actually kind of nice the make the background transparent i would probably keep that off it doesn't work that well even when you auto detect the color or if you want to make it uh, well actually why don't we try it as a blue or a green if we don't do that um to see if it actually makes the background a certain color so yeah it's not really doing much I thought it would like really make the color background. It doesn't work that way. I would keep that feature off. I would double the video size. I think that's a good one. Um, and then these other ones are really nice as well. I really like the auto delete button added to the screenshots. You can disable crop snapping, which isn't that great if you want it. But and I also like this too. When I'm doing a screen record, it'll do. It'll put do not disturb on for my phone. It does turn it off afterwards. So if you look at do not disturb, it is off even though I'm not, and because I'm not screen recording. So very, very nice stuff. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.